How many urethane resin castings can I get out of a silicone rubber mold? And why do molds wear out anyway? Shouldn't silicone last forever? Well, they don't last forever. They do wear out. And there's a bunch of different factors that contribute to the wear. Today, we're going to look at a mold that hit the wall. <laughs> I mean, flatline, dead, absolutely ruined mold. And we'll look at what happened and why and uh, learn something along the way and have some fun and maybe hold a little funeral for a mold. In the last video, I made a gang mold, and as you can see, it had eight cavities. I then used this mold to pour 100 castings in this light brown resin, which we stained and finished to make 100 tiki necklaces. We also made an additional 25 tiki necklaces in blue resin, which means that each cavity in that mold had made approximately 16 resin castings. Al then came back and made 50 more castings out of the same mold, bringing the total to 175 pieces, or around 22 castings per cavity. And that is about as long as I would expect this mold to last. And about now is when disaster struck. We always mix our resin color into the B side, and this time Al forgot and added the colorant into the A side. Then, when he went to pour the next batch of tiki pendants, he mixed A into A, <laughs> which was never going to cure. Not realizing what he'd done, he put the whole mess into the pressure pot, let it sit for half an hour, pulled it out, <laughs> saw that there was no cure. There was never going to be a cure because A and A won't cure. You got to have A, B. You got to have both components to cross link and do all that good stuff. Anyway, the, the present sat there in the mold just and not doing a bit of good for the life of the mold. Al realized what he'd done and poured out the resin and then tried to clean it out as best he could, but the damage was done. When he filled the mold with properly mixed resin, the rubber and the resin absolutely bonded together. I mean, they are stuck. Now, I'm no scientist, so this is going to be a highly unscientific description of what happens. But basically, with each successive casting, some of the resin molecules migrate or adhere or combine with the rubber molecules. And over time, it gets harder and harder to pull resins from a mold. So what you wind up with is a mold filled with castings that are absolutely bonded together and basically impossible to take apart. There are a lot of factors that go into the life of a mold, but one really important one is the surface of the object that you're casting. If it has a lot of little tiny details and wood grain and, and intricacy, lots and lots of crevices and tiny little places that the resin can interlock, that means like a rough surface object has a large surface area because it's rough. It's got lots and lots of surface area compared to something that's absolutely glass smooth, which has the smallest possible surface area and the fewest number of places that can mechanically lock the resin into the rubber. You have to think about this zone of relationship between the two materials. And if there's a lot of places where the resin can interlock and get in and around the rubber, well, it's just gonna have that many more places for the molecules to bond to one another. And that contributes greatly to mold wear. Al's tiki pendants are incredibly detailed and they have wood grain. And so they're just not gonna get a huge number of castings out of a silicone mold. To answer the question, how many pieces will I get out of a mold? It depends on so many factors like what resin are you using? What's the shore of the rubber? How flexible is it? Uh, what's the temperature? What's the surface area? What's the size of the thing you're casting? There are so many factors that you have to look at each project as an individual thing, do testing, and figure out exactly how many pieces you're going to get out of a production run of any objects that you're making. That's the only way you're really going to know for sure exactly how many castings are you going to get out of a mold. Hey, I hope you liked this video. I hope there was something in it useful for you. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Did I say we are going to hold a, we were supposed to hold a funeral for this mold? Wait a minute. Hang on. You were a good mold. You did your job. You came into this world to help and to be of use to society and to your civilization, and you gave it your all. You really were a fine mold. You were a good mold, and you did your job, and you died a soldier's death, a glorious death, and we appreciate and love you. 
Amen.